Alright, and here we are, literally five seconds after the last video. I just renamed the other video so I keep track of what I'm doing. As I said, all I'm doing is trying to get to automation in these two, hopefully two, maybe three episode quick episodes this day. I don't honestly know how long it'll take. We're actually not too bad, doing not too badly. It's mainly just money that we're running into here. We need lots and lots of money. Ah, the failure of our society. At least in a video game you can make money. Real world, not so much. I mean, if I could make money just by going to any old field, dig a hole in the ground, slosh it over and I get gold. Well, apart from destroying our entire current existing um, financial infrastructure, wouldn't be that bad. Mind you, by the time it's done, go oh. that was gold, right? Or was it an iron block? I'm oh, sorry, I lost that. Yeah, I'm probably not the first one, uh, probably like the 10 billionth person who wishes, oh, why can't life be more like a video game? But, you know, a safe video game. I think aliens would suck or Prey, or any of the other Nightmare-style games that are enjoyable. I think that should be enough to get us started. Let's make our next... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ugh, let's keep going a little bit longer. I just want to get enough money to at least get all the piping laid out, and then we can see about handling the rest. So unfortunately, this project is going to need a tremendous amount of piping. And that doesn't even include the conveyor belts, it's just piping. Which we haven't even finished yet. And then there's also the smelters, the sorters. We need all of that equipment as well. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. I mean, we need uh, ten, uh, it's five ore smelt uh, sorters because mm -hmm. it's five different types of ore: iron, gold, clautium, sandstone, and this uh, hydra shards. And then we need four uh, sorters for diamonds. That's rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and that black one, whatever it was called again. So yeah, we need quite a bit of piping and layouts and everything. We should have enough to continue buying our pipes. Can't wait to get the sorting system built. Cloutium, just go right here with the other big Cloutium block. So I 
what? I'm gonna use the small set of the sandstone block. I'm going to need that, but we'll melt the uh, larger Clantian blocks. Oh, sorry, coarse stone. It's not sandstone. It's coarse stone. Yeah. I really didn't want to go that deep. We'll check if the stock market's changed, but I think it only changes uh, each day. So we'll check. Maybe we got lucky. And my driving sucks. Yeah, driving a triangle is not easy. And I'm seeing red. That looks remarkably like red to me. Yep, red. Useless, useless, useless. Like I said, when I was experimenting, I got lucky if once or twice the um, stock market was actually in the positive. 90% of the time, you just sell your stuff to the jewelry, the jewelry shop. Sorry, My pronunciation with that word is going to kill me. Though it does say jewel well, jeweler here. So it may be the correct pronunciation. It may just sound bad to me. That is nowhere near enough. Ugh, but it'll continue. Still need a lot of straight bots. Okay, first things first. Stop here. Pop out. Grab money. Buy our two specialty pipes. Excuse me. Do -do 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 -do. <sighs> yeah, 100,000. You could buy it, but there's no point. I want to at least semi-play the game. Now, let's see. This is what I want, but, um... You should see this happen. This is the only error I've had with these, um... Uh, what's it? Mods? Okay, no, it worked. Wow. I've had it happen with one of my other playthroughs. Well, the experimental playthroughs, when you would grab... Ugh. My brain is not working right now. You would grab this, and it would multiply. Oh, there, it's done it. You can see it's multiplied. Yeah, it happens with everything with these uh, things. I'm not sure why. Could have something to do with spacing or something. I don't know. But it just multiplies. It's quite annoying. It doesn't cause any problems. At least it hasn't caused any problems for me. My game hasn't crashed or anything funny like that. So that's not a problem. It's just it does that. But this mod is really useful because sometimes you just don't want to add a dozen different pipes just to make one fitting work. Where you can just grab one of these extra pipes and voila! Problem solved. Which is really, really nice. Come on, drop it. Now, I'm going to go with straight pipes mainly because that's what we're going to be using. I'll get more bent pipes as we need. Let's go for another 10 of these at least. Two, three, four, five, eight. Okay, it's sticking around. Six, seven, Let's just start with this. We still got a lot of other pipes, so let's start with this. And we'll see. Well, actually, no, we're going to need a lot of straight pipes if I'm guessing correctly. So let's just buy another 10 straight pipes, and we'll see how we go with uh, the other type of pipes. We're probably going to need more of those, but we'll worry about that later.
space. It's not on a mod hub, it's not on the uh, workshop style mods for this system. There we go. Yeah, 2100 hydro coins is 10 pipes. So if you lose track, you just need to look there and you'll see okay, 2100 is 10 straight pipes, which is nice. leave our cash behind because we don't need it at the moment we can always stock up really gotta watch out for that because I've done that dozens of times hundreds of dozens of times thousands of times millions of times just make one wrong turn and kabonk pressure after we finish after we get everything up and running grab this rotate come on dump that there then oh, I'm gonna have to move these pipes yeah I didn't realize when I was moving that truck it I was just piling them up in my way They're still in my way, because now I can't go there, okay. Grab this one, okay. Now we want two conveyor belts, because this is going to be our central point. Everything's going to arrive here, then we want one, two conveyor belts, so we can have plenty of space. Or do we want two conveyor belts? Central conveyor belt, straightener, we'll put another conveyor belt here with a straightener. And then we want to go, okay, then this one must actually come off. And what we want is this one, because this one will give our height, oh come on. We need to go this way. So that one will be our uh, vertical conveyor belt for climbing. So we'll dump onto the straight, go into, dump onto our joint point. This piece will connect. Okay, sorry, it connects that way. All right. We need uh, this pipe. Yeah, we need one of these. And we'll go around. right back onto our straight, our dividing conveyor belt, onto our sorting conveyor belt, so that's, that's fine. You can also add a water uh, drip here, like we've got over there, if we want to keep using the uh, gold one. Alright, that's fine. Let's get our water actually set up first, because we right now have no intake, so we want that. This is where the most straight pipes get used up. So we gotta get to the water before we can go down, so. Oof. Come on. 
I've made a slight... Or have I? Um, no, thank you, thank you. I need more of these uh, four lane add-ons. I need another two more, at least. Oops, okay, that was a short save, still recording. Sometimes it works fine, I get short savings and then I get, oh, come on. This is why I wish we could position these bloody things, because I can't see where I'm putting this junk. To flip and drown myself in the ocean just to make sure I can connect everything. into the water and we'll hammer everything down okay now we'll get our water pipes connected our intake pipes connected that should be deep enough that it's not going to give us any problems yep Do a quick check of our total pressure. Uh, actually, let's just move that pressure unit to before we add the add ons. Chunk. Perfect. Alright, we need to. Okay, 165. That's going to be important. It's probably going to need another pressure unit so we can see exactly how much it changes afterwards. Okay, that's nailed in. Ah, straight pipe. Yeah, I want... Is it, is it going to be wide enough? Do I have to travel? I think I have to go at least two conveyor belts past where I think I need to be to get this to work. So what I'd like to do, uh, but are we running into... Yeah, this one may be a problem. We may have to somehow build our unit here and then run it in. Or do we have to pull it further down? Uh, do we have to move this down one? Because yeah, we're running right into the bedrock here, which is unfortunate. I may have slightly misplanned that. Because the idea is, we're going to place the drills here. In order to achieve that, we need conveyor belts running this way, and we need to attach pipes like this. Which means we need pipes going like that and joining to another four prong here. And this one will attach here, and we bump into a problem here for another 10. So we need to go down at least one block. Come on. So I'd like to put five on either side of the belt. And then we would have Uh, 
curved here, joint here, and we'd have our conveyor belt running here. We have the conveyor belts going this way, and we have five, ten drills this side, and ten drills this side, but the drill is not going to fit here. Oh, it will let us. Oh, this must be soft ground then. Okay, let's flatten it with the uh, vehicle and see how well this will work. Looks like we actually did go sufficiently deep in. Oh no, you don't. Actually, yes, you can do that. Thank you. So we can probably fit our tendrils in this corner. Hooray! Don't have to redesign everything. Just fine. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to do this. So we're going to need quite a few specialty pipes. Let's get the rough layout done quick. Uh, where have we done this? Okay, so one goes here. There. Now, this is still just piping. We haven't even gotten to the fun bit yet. Have I really run out of curved bits already? Apparently I have. This conveyor belt, because we need uh, drills design. How close can we go? No, we can be right next to one another. Okay. Four and five. Yeah, we still need a lot of parts. Oh, did I put the hammer here? We can nail this system down, at least. And at the end, I'm going to have a loop, and we'll just connect the two parts together so we don't get water, so we can keep the water pressure relatively high rather than leaking or whatever. to do. I don't even know why I threw it in the back of the truck. Do -do 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 -do. Let's put this tool back. Okay, I just need to go to the bathroom, so back in a sec. Double check that we're recording. Yep, all good. And we're back. Okay. We need at least another ten of these more, actually. Because there's ten here. So, five, six, so ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen those. Oh, we'll have extras, but we're going to need them anyway. Okay, we need more gold. We're going to need more gold. So what we have is not enough. Not near enough for our plan. For my ultimate evil, evil plan of strip mining the entire continent. Yeah, I'll just build a flippin' uh, mining drill unit. 500 kilometers high, 500... No, let's make it a thousand kilometers wide. We'll just strip mine entire continents. To do that, we need more gold. And this is still just piping. We still need to layer out our conveyor belts. So we still need to do that. So that's going to be fun. And I want at least another straight piece here because I want two conveyor belts here. So that if at a later stage I decide to add some of those gold cheat ones, we can just feed it directly here 
rather than having to build a whole new conveyor belt system for it and it can go straight into the sorter. Because that was the hiccup I had when I tried late on when, because especially late game, I was trying to just see if I could figure out, okay, that's not the jewel. Okay, the jewel's buried, we'll dig it up when everything else comes. But later on in the game, when I was trying to see how I could upgrade, and I discovered how much how difficult it was to find Cloutium where I was particularly at playing, I just started cheating, so. Though this time around, we haven't had as much trouble. Mind you, we've only found a very small amount of Cloutium, and only a single sandstone. We'll have to, uh, have to see exactly how this goes. Oh, sorry, it is sandstone, right? Horse stone. Ugh, me and Ark. Definitely an Ark reference that gets me going there. And while I am happy they want to redo Ark in HD, I am not happy about buying the whole damn thing again. If I own the game, well, I do get it. If they make it so it's the Ark and all the expansion packs, and they make it like relatively off price of what the whole game, original game was, then I could live with it, but. Okay, we've got some more sand, st uh, coarse stone, awesome. I'd actually suggest this area is fairly rich in other materials, since we seem to be pulling it out at quite relatively decent rate. Sort this quick. Oh, for the love of. This is why you put it in on top of a... Okay, what the heck is going on here? That was a gold bar. There's no way gold is supposed to smelt into iron. Because that was, that was gold I accidentally tossed in there. Okay, that's definitely iron now. Either that or I'm not seeing properly. I got our first. Oh no, that's sandstone. Still haven't found any rubies. Yeah, it is letting me melt the wrong resources. That wouldn't let me do that. Was it because of the these ones? I don't know. Because when you use the ones that can smelt and automatically pour. Oh, for the love of! It wouldn't let me mix resources. So apparently this one is different. So I just gotta watch that. Because now I'm getting contaminated resources, which suck. Not to mention what a waste of gold and that. Wow, we really are doing quite well in finding this core stone stuff. Of course, we're not supposed to be finding nuggets this big. This is a side effect of me cheating, but... I am impressed. Okay, let's do this. And this time, let's make a ring. So I know where to put everything. Yeah, I'm a suck of a punishment. I see red. I really should quit trying my luck at making an extra buck. I, 
Ah, uh, okay, that was nothing. Far less value than I'd hoped, but what do you expect? But it should get us where we're going, at least partially. Oops, I want to move the truck quick. Let's go get our two specialty parts. As you can see, it's multi-generating, and I don't know why. Uh, it's probably because it hasn't got a proper place to put, so. Also, I'm almost positive some of these mods probably overlap with one another. This valve hook, I can't get it to fit. Because it sits in the middle. It doesn't sit on the edges like the plug does. It sits in the middle. So I'm not sure where we're supposed to put it. Unless it's supposed to go directly onto the uh, water feed pipe here. That must be where it goes. short because we're going like I said big first time around normally you don't go this big first time around you probably have the drill and the harvester a conveyor belt and that's about and two conveyor belts and that's about it because like I said you just want to get the resources and you sort everything manually I'm just I don't want to do that this starts around because that's how I did do it in the first playthrough, and it took forever to get anywhere. Or, the, sorry, the experimental playthrough. It took forever to get anywhere. Which, given what we have to do late game, is going to be slightly annoying. what I mean by this drop. I, will admit, I don't like the way you can't drop things. In the back of the bucky you should be able to drop anything because they pass through one another. Okay, we're going to come up a little short as expected, but we're going to do some more serious gold extraction, but if it wasn't for the cheap thing this would have taken five or six episodes or more to get where we are now. Still, it's not enough turny bits and curvy bits and wangly bits. I would really, really like it for the designers to introduce, to introduce crates of items, especially when it comes to pipes. You could believe all of this stuff that but these pipes should all be in crates because this one at a time purchase is so myth Ugh, it's boring. Hopefully when this game... Oh, I don't even know if this game's been properly released. I think it has. I can't remember what the update was. 
Does it show here? No, it doesn't. But let's just say while we're about it. And then I'm just waiting on Satisfactory to also update because they keep promising these major updates. So I just wanted to lay off playing that because I did go through a whole cycle of playing it on my own. And then maybe I'll do a video with Satisfactory because that's also a very nice factory game. And yes, I'm cheating in that one as well, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's spend the rest of our money on strip pipes. Oh, and I want another pressure gauge. Uh, take the pressure gauge off. Ah, stuff it fine. When we hit max, we hit max. Just so I can see how much water pressure are we getting from our intakes, how much water pressure are we getting from our uh, high, our what's it, pressure tank? Two thousand one hundred seventy-five. Still got more cash, so let's just go for it. I'm not even wasting time to count this stuff. Hopefully, hopefully this should be enough to finish our construction project here. Probably not. We still need to add, like I said, at least. 10 more straight pipes? And we need 5 straight pipes on either side, so... 3,800? Okay, we're a little over, so... Ah, uh, darn it, just short. And we be broke again. I could argue that, because your Cloutium pipes are expensive, mate. But then again, Cloutium is so difficult to pull out of the ground. It's not that easy to build, so I guess it kind of counts. I'm pretty sure the idea was you would, tier 1, you would stick to iron. And then when you upgraded to the next tier of drill bits and that, you would just add Cloutium pipes to your connection with a processor and you would go that way. You wouldn't put everything together in one big thing. Each depth you would add new pipes. And that way the overall cost of this thing wouldn't be quite as bad as what we're doing here. Oh, does he have does, and they're expensive. Darn it, I meant to buy a mining helmet, because it gets so dark, you guys can't see what I'm doing. And when we're underground, it's going to be worse. Okay, so first thing we buy next, uh, shopping spree, which is definitely coming. Flippin' helmet. used to the other direction. My driving skills have not improved at all. Alright. That goes there. There. One, two. 
Yay, we're definitely getting some more here. Um, okay, I'm just gonna dump this here so we can get things orderly. Uh, actually, no, I'm doing this wrong, so we need to actually add our. Come on. Straight pipes there. longer here. Let's see how much further we actually need to go here. One, two, three, four. So we do need one more straight pipe here. This is probably there. Well, in this respect, the grid layout helps a lot. We don't need that right now. It is awkward, as I said. We they really need to install a means of. Um, key adjustments between the blocks, but we'll worry about that later. in because I don't want to accidentally take it apart later. Something tells me we're probably going to be making adjustments here, so that's not going to be the biggest problem. Okay, just a water pressure pipe will tell us what the pressure is like before and after. So we don't need a conveyor belt there. Just out of curiosity. And it's upside down. Oh, booger. Okay, yeah, this I think is the difference between tier 1 pipes and tier 2 pipes. I think tier 1 iron to iron works, and this is just over pressure. So we're pumping too much pressure into the um, machine, and that's why you're getting that bleed through effect. Oh, uh, wait. Is this complete? Complete. Okay, good. Now let's start buying up conveyor belts, but we need more cash, and then we can see what other parts we actually need. 
I dropped the hammer here, right? I swear I did. Oh, no, no, there it is. Let's put the tools back where we found them. Come on. Okay, so for the most part, our layout is done. We'll have 10 of these here, 10 on that side, and they'll feed to the center and the center will process. So for most parts, that's done. And then we just gotta add our sorters, which we need five, six, seven, eight, nine of, if I'm not mistaken. But to do that first, we need quite a bit of money. So let's do that. Find it, we'll keep looking. Mm -hmm. so we need four compressors, uh, dual compressors, and we need at least five. We need five uh, smelters for the other stuff. why we'll have this fully set to um, sort. was worth more than um, a ring by a long shot as far as production is concerned so we'll go with that well we pulled out a lot of jewels here we may just have to sell them and we'll worry about the rest later as far as producing our additional mining equipment is going to come in. We're pulling like, for every one gold we pull out two to three iron. straight conveyor belts for the initial section of our production operation. Mm -hmm. So 
14 straights, and that's just the first straights and one vertical, and that's just the beginning bit. That was okay, so this is going to be, once again, pricey, but we're going big. And we'll be able to produce quite a lot of material, even though we'll only be getting small chunks, we'll produce quite a bit of material, so that's not going to be a problem. Oh, at long last. We got a ruby in this mess. We need these jewels to be able to sort through everything, so we kind of need this stuff. No, I'm just going to leave this here. I don't think we need to scrap it. Well, we'll actually see how it goes, but... Having the ability to rapidly gather resources as we need is going to come in very, very useful. Because that's also in the test thing. Sometimes all you had to, all you have is you had to just wait until you had enough raw material to produce what you needed to produce, which was quite annoying. Oh wait, I have rubies already, don't I? Uh, I can't see it's buried. No, no, no. I sold that ruby when I made it into the jewel. That was a uh, necklace. That was an oops on my part. Okay, to the sorting bin. that again. Oops, that's a contamination. I think when it falls in it just gets disintegrated into oblivion, so I don't think it adds to the weight. If we sold all this iron ore that we have right now, we could probably afford the rest of our production center that we're building here. Because there's a lot of iron ore we've been dumping in here, but I've just been using the gold because I need the iron ore for stuff later. Each of these, uh, the small chunks that you normally pull out are about 1 to 1.2 kilos worth of weight. Each of these is 15 kilos worth of weight according to when I was measuring it in the tests. Empty. That should be enough gold to get us going. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Let's just toss the piping hot piece of material around. gameplay. Time flies when you're having fun. But I don't want to make too many episodes, but in one go, it's just, I think everybody was getting a bit bored with the fact that I've been playing this now. Oh, darn it. 
Oh no, that's just a normal save. I've been playing this now for quite a while and we're getting basically nowhere. We haven't really made any significant progress. But hopefully now these two episodes should help a bit. That should be more than enough to get us going. Okay, let's just buy the basics at first. So we're going to dump this in here. So this one. So we want the basic stuff that we're going to need. We're going to need a jewel polishing unit. We're going to need a centralization hook. We're going to need two of these merger modules because we are created a, a four-lane junction and we're going to need our vertical ones. So we'll buy these first. That still leaves us plenty of money. got to check which ones of these are we going. Given that we're going uh, this way across the map, we're probably going to end up needing these, this split unit rather than this alternate one. And we're going to need a few of these, but for now let's go with this one. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's ten, we still need four more. We actually need way more than four more, but I'm gonna build this in sections so I can keep track of what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. If we bought too much, that's fine, I don't care. Still got some cash left so we can see where we're going to go. So let's get this lot assembled and operational. Slight lag because I put too much junk in the trunk. I have had that happen before. If you throw too much stuff in the back of the truck, the game is not happy with you. Despite the fact, I think it's got something to do with the way they set it so it all merges together. Okay. Let's grab the big one first. You go there. You dump in there. Straight ones, and they come right there. Uh, gem polishing hook will come here. I, I'll have to figure out a better way to sort everything. Okay, there, 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 there. It's not going to give us any trouble with that. It shouldn't. Well, we'll take a look, see. I'm hoping it doesn't give us any trouble, let's put it that way. Because I may have automatically run into a problem if it'll only let me add um, one half of a T junction in place. I don't think so, but. We'll have to wait and see. I 
time for short. I miscounted. Damn it. This is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's ten, ten. Chink. This is what I was worried it may do. Let, let me. Yes, it will. Oh, good. Okay, we're still short. We need one more here, and we need one more here. So that's two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's just take this off. Let's hammer everything down, and then we want... No, wait, we don't want eight straight ones. Sorry, that is totally, totally wrong. We do want two of them. We want two straight ones. We want one, two straight ones, and then we'll fight with the rest of the stuff. Uh, no, don't need to take that with me. And we're gonna need more straight pipes. Go fig! Luckily, it's a short trip. Getting the additional strike pipes later. First, we're gonna finish what we're doing here. Okay, we want one, two, those, those, and then we want the one, two here. Okay, we'll go with that for now. And let's just keep track of what we've built. And then we're going to need quite, we need uh, five, six, seven, eight of these. But they're ex pretty expensive, and we may not have enough cash. Let's just get this bit done and get some more money. We're going to need some more money and then we'll work on the rest. And that doesn't even, that's not even the smelter plants. We still need to put the smelters in place. We still need to put the gem compressors in place. So we've still got a ways to go here. the first half of our production center assembled. Now we need the rest of the items and we're going to need some more straight pipe because this is not long enough. Because this is only four, we need five and another four. So we need five more pieces of straight pipe, well maybe five actually, because if memory serves the last bit is a bit more complicated, we actually need more of these I think. But for now, let's make some money so we can actually buy this stuff. I kind of, maybe not get all the drills, but at least get the darn conveyor belt system running this episode. Though it does mean we'll go overtime, so this will probably be an hour and a half if you go, if it isn't already.